good everyone welcome back to the channel as usual my name is henry and i'm gonna be your tutor for today's tutorial video okay if you have not done so please make this the video you subscribe to the channel and like the video and also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new videos we're gonna jump right into the video okay as you can see on my screen this video here is actually called a phasing video a phasing video is actually a very informative video that actually shows more details of a building model or even a machinery so it can be very useful in the architectural affair so in today's video i'm going to take you guys through how to work to achieve a realistic phasing animation in lumia okay as we have here we have our model in revit so the first thing to do if you want to phase is to actually group the model into the significant parts you want to phase Okay, as you can see here, we have the roof, we have the trusses, we have the walls, we have the windows, we have the furnitures here. We are going to start by exporting each of these group parts individually. So to do that, we are going to go to this architecture tab over here. Or oh, sorry, we are going to go to this Lumion plugin tab over here. Then we are going to click on this export tab. We are going to hide the, because we want to only export the roof. So we're going to hide it first. Then we're going to select the remaining parts of the building and then temporarily hide it. The shortcut is HH. So we are now going to unhide in particular the roof we want to export. Then I'm just going to click on unhide in view by elements and I'm going to uncheck the reveal element toggle. So I'm just going to click on this export tab and I'm going to click on export. And I'm going to locate, pick the location where I want the Lumion exports to be located in. So I'm just going to go to my local file where I want it to be placed. And I'm going to just save it. So we are going to repeat the same process for the other parts of this model. And we're going to export it and name it individually so we can remember the names easily when we are importing it in Lumion. Okay, so we're going to jump into Lumion now. Okay, we're going to create a new Lumion project. And we're going to use the default Lumion template, the plain Lumion template. Okay, so we're going to start importing the models we exported earlier from the Revit project. So we're going to go to this tab over here. We're going to click on the import icon. Then we are going to locate where we kept the exported files. Just a minute. Just take this. Okay. Then we are going to locate the exported files. Then we are going to start importing. As you can see, I actually when I, while I was exporting, I actually named the exports appropriately. I, with, I also put numerals at the side of it so it will be easy to locate and it will be easy to place them accordingly. So I will always suggest you do that when you are doing your own and exporting your own. So I'm just going to be placing them one by one. One. I'm going to import again and I'm going to import the trusses. Okay. I'm going to click on import again and I'm going to import the roof slab. Okay, I'm going to click Important, Import to the Walls, and I'm going to import the Windows, and I'm going to import the Cutting Walls, and I'm going to also import the Doors and the Floors, the Doors. So as you can see, since I named it very well, like I named the components or the parts of the model appropriately, you can see it's very easy for me to actually locate them and place them accordingly. So now I've placed everything, I'm just going to click on this select tab so I'll exit from the important interface. Okay, so as you can see, the model is looking very jittered and scattered all over the place. So to solve this issue, we are going to simply select all of them by holding control on your keyboard and select all the model parts. 
then I'm just going to go to this tab over here then click on this show advanced options and simply click on this align positions so as you can see the model has been totally aligned and it has been set appropriately so we're just going to before we start creating an animation now we're just going to place some vegetation and apply some materials just to make the scenery look a bit attractive just going to place some vegetation okay I placed it wrongly I'm going to place some vegetation all over the place okay, so I'm just going to do a few and we're going to change a few materials To change a few materials, I'm going to change it and edit a few parameters. I'm going to change the wall materials. I'm going to just copy some materials and just make it look nice. Okay, I think this is enough and I'm just going to edit the landscape a little so the landscape will actually look good. I'm going to on the grass, I'm going to add some flowers and some stones and a bit of shrubs here and there. I'm going to increase the height and the size of the grass so it should just look better. I'm also going to go back to this material and change the material of the wood. Okay, now we're finished applying some materials and placing some components. We're going to go straight to the movie tab over here to pick our shots. So we're going to click on this red top tab, record tab. Then remember to always set your animation at easing linear and make the entrance linear, the both ending and beginning linear. So we're just going to pick a nice perspective view. We're going to adjust the focal length a bit and just going to start picking the animation shots that we want. So we're just going to pick here and take one shot. Then you are going to hold your O button on your keyboard just to get an orbit movement for the animation. Now we're just going to set this and we're going to change the clip length from 4 seconds to about let's use 7 seconds. Now we're going to click finish so you can see our animation uh, let's just pick one more clip for the fun of it so we're going to click on record again then this time we're going to actually pick an aerial view just to make it more interest much more interesting so we're going to set the parameters right and we're going to save our shots and as before we're going to use an orbit movement I think it actually looks interesting. So we're going to set the, the time of the clip to be about 10 seconds this time around. I'm just going to play it and see how it goes. So we're going to click on finish. Okay, now you see the animation is as simple as it looks. But now we're going to start our phasing now. So to do that, you simply go to this add effect tab, this FX icon over here. You click it, you go to animation, click on animation, then you see animated phasing, then you click on it. Under the animated phasing, you click this pencil-like icon to edit and we are going to start the phasing. So in this phasing interface, you see two major of tabs. So you see the first one on top and it has the popping start time duration is in a stagger. Then you see this lower one showing the timeline of the phasing we are going to create. So as we are going to be using it, you understand a bit more how they work. Okay, we are going to start selecting the object you want to fit. So we are going to click on this select object, start by another selection, and start selecting the object you want to be fixed. So we are going to start from roof, then we are going to go to trusses, 
Then we are going to go to room slab. Then we are going to click on the walls. Then we are going to click on the windows. Then we are going to click on the doors. Then we are going to click on the floors. And finally, we are going to click on the furnitures. And we are going to click save. We are going to now edit some stuff in this tab over here. We are going to change the duration time and extend it. As you can see, while I'm increasing this duration tab, you actually see this blue um, bar over here filling this um, icon here. So as you can see, as we are increasing the duration time, it's actually increasing. So we are going to increase it to almost the end. We are going to increase this easing. It actually helps in smoothing the movement of the object. Then we are going to increase this tagger. So it will actually be interesting. We are going to change this popping start effect, this popping effect, because we want it to drop from the sky. Then we are going to click it and click save changes. So we are now going to play the animation again and see what it's giving us. Okay. As you can see, the phasing looks good, but we are going to go a bit further. We are going to try and add the trees into the whole phase. So we are just going to go to build and go to nature. Once we click on nature or go simply click on all so every model can be selectable. We are now going to go back to the movie and we are going to go to animated phase. So we are now going to add another phasing animation. Okay, so in this phasing animation, we're now going to add select a new set of objects. So we're going to start selecting these plants over here. I'm just going to be selecting them. And remember to check this tagger in order of selection. Now we're going to put it. And we are now going to put the start time. As you can see from this scenery now, the phasing is actually starts with the objects so we want the greenery to come in the end so to do that we're just going to increase the start time of this second phasing to the end then increase the duration time and we're going to change this pop into sky drop we're going to increase the duration time or simply move it increase the duration time reduce the start time or rather increase the start time and leave the duration time at this point. Then we are going to start that in. and we are going to click finish and we are going to see what happens. So we are going to play this phasing animation again. But I think if you can notice there is a problem. The roof actually comes first and logically it doesn't really look appealing like that. That if you are creating an animation the roof will actually come first. So we are just going to edit it and we are just going to simply click check this invert stagger order so we are going to invert it so it's actually the floors that will start coming down first so we are just going to click save changes and we are going to play this video again and as you can see the stagger animation is actually or rather the phasing animation is actually looking good so to go to this setting instead of doing everything from beginning again and starting everything afresh you could easily go to this menu over here click on edit copy effects go to this view go to the same menu or rather that clip click on edit and click on paste effect and the same effect will be applied them you just need to do some minor adjustments so to do those adjustments you can just go back and set the click on this phasing and increase the duration click on this second phasing Increase the duration and increase the start time as well. So we are just going to click finish and we are going to play it. So now we are about to conclude the video. We are just going to simply add some custom effects and maybe add a realistic custom effect. And we are going to render it and see how it comes out. Click on render tab. Or if you didn't get it, see the render, the render tab over here, click on render. Then we are going to just render at the lowest quality because it's not actually necessary. Then we are going to click on render HD. I we are going to save it. Let me just name it one more. Save. Okay, the render has been completed so we are just going to click OK. 
and we are going to open our folder and see how the thing came out okay sorry um, I'm just going to play the animation so we are going to play the animation and see the phasing animation how it came out so as you can see this kind of animations can be used for very illustrative presentations and all so it can be very helpful in your practice and also gives you a better opportunity at getting jobs or projects or bidding for projects or whatever you intend on doing okay so if the video was helpful please hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this and also hit the notification bell to always get notified when we release new amazing videos thanks for watching and see you later